So here it is, Xiaomi's Mi Notebook Air. This is the 2.5 inch model. There's another 13.3 inch model that has a powerful, more powerful Core M in there and N NVIDIA 945MX GPU. This version here is one that hopefully will give us a better battery life. So it's got a 2.5 inch 1080p screen, has a Core M 6Y30. It's a similar chipset that you see in tablets mostly. 4 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabyte SSD, wireless AC, supposed to weigh just over a kilo, and Xiaomi claim that you can get 11.5 hours of battery life out of this, which is a crazy claim that I'm pretty sure will turn out to be false, because I've never had a device get that kind of battery life before. So this one I picked up from GearBest.com because they had stock and they also let me know that uh, it might have problems with the activation if they did install English on there because the models that are shipping now just have Windows 10 Chinese OS and that will not actually allow you to install any other languages on there. So it'll be interesting to see what they've actually put on there because I told them just send it out as soon as possible because I wanted to review this. Now as you can see I used DHL packaging so be careful when it comes to taxes. DHL had a field day on me and I ended up having to pay quite a large amount of tax on this. So if you get their free post, you might not have to pay any taxes at all if you're living in Europe. Okay, so it looks like they have sent it out just in the original box. They, they haven't double boxed this, which is interesting. And it is sealed by the looks of it. No, someone's broken the seal. I'll go along and just cut this open. Now there's some time codes that are appearing now at the moment. So if you'd like to just skip ahead to parts that interest you the most, feel free to do so. Alright, so there it is in a nice little box there so it actually it is double box because what you have is the outer box and now this box here so lots of protection no chance of getting it damaged there unless um i don't know someone dropped another huge heavy item on it so there's the box just the me on the side there and on the back just um specs their outline which i pretty much just covered so they have taped that there either side I just have to cut that off. Alright, so here is the notebook. I'm just first have a look at the accessories here that they include. So no doubt this is just probably a quick start. Warranty card, whatnot. That is all in Chinese, I can see there. So, no point opening and getting into too much detail with that. So, here we have the charger. You see, it's got a Type C cable. So, a Type C charger, US 2 prong, and it is rated to 20 volts, 2.25 amps, 45 watts max. I get the camera to focus on that for those looking possibly for a replacement. So uh, clearly that is a fast charger there with those kind of voltages that it's outputting. And it's uh, fully sealed? No. Here we go. One end is open. So it does have AKG audio on there, which is supposed to sound good. We've got two downwards firing speakers you can see there. And we have five rubber pads on the bottom. Feels quite nice in hand so far. That does feel quite light. I have my scales here, so I'm going to turn that on and just see how the actual weight comes out to be. If it is exactly that 1.07 kilos they claim. And yes, it is. Exactly. So 1.074 kilos. And just walk you around the outside. So here on the left hand side we have a 3.5 mm audio jack, full size HDMI which is really good to see because often we only get just the micro ones on these kind of devices. And the back of it there and on the right side there's the type C for charging, status LED and a USB 3.0 port there. 
So you notice at the top has absolutely no logos, which surprised me. I thought they would at least put the Me logo on there with the backlight so that illuminates, but no, not at all. I cannot fault the build quality apart from one thing I have noticed, that this part along here with the frame is made out of plastic and they have sprayed that with like a lacquer paint that has run a little bit. You can probably just see that it's hard to make out, but you see that little line along there? That's actually the paint job, like the top coat is... Well, it has run a little there, so that's the only flaw I can find with the build quality of the Mi Notebook Air here. Let's get this open. Okay. Okay, so this does look really nice, actually. You can see I've got a little Core M3 sticker there. Very nice build to it. The trackpad seems quite large. I'm just going to power this on, so power button is just up here on the top right hand side. I will give you a close up of the keyboard layout for those interested there you can see. And the key travel there feels good. This thing feels really premium. So far I'm impressed with what I'm seeing. So there's a front facing camera. There's two microphones up here I can just see. So two little microphones, there's two little dots there. Status LED for the webcam and the webcam is only a one megapixel one. And the screen is covered with glass. So I'll just get this powered up. All right, so the battery was completely dead. I had to plug it in and it fired up really quick. It's already had a user set up admin and I can see everything is clearly in Chinese here. And that is just my own fault because I didn't wait. I told them just to send it out. So I'm gonna have to take a driver's dump of this and install Windows 10 English, a fresh install there. So have a look at this screen. It does look really nice. Now it is covered with a protective glass. I'm not too sure which brand. It's either Dragon Tail or it could even be Gorilla Glass. And it looks very nice. You can see that the bezels are very small. And of course the background they have used, the desktop background, helps make that actually look even better because it's got the black background with the high contrast colors there. But it's a very nice looking screen and view angles, viewing angles seem to be really good. So here's a close up of that screen. You can see it looks really nice. And then cameras up the top. I do think it might actually have even an ambient light sensor right here. And that is the microphone there. So not actually two mics, but the ambient light sensor. Viewing angles seem good. You can see colors shift a little bit there from left to right with the gray background. And the vertical angles. Slight change in that, but not really. No, I've been an IPS panel. This looks good. Now the typing experience on the keyboard I found actually it's not bad at all. There's uh, a bit of travel there about 1.3 millimeters and if I push down really hard here you can see there's a little bit of flex but it does feel quite solid. It's definitely not the worst I have experienced. The worst was probably the, the Jumper Easy Book 2 that was bouncing all around all over the place. And the layout of it is good, individual keys there and Really not a bad keyboard, but I wouldn't say it straight away that it's not the best I have typed on. The keys themselves have a smooth feel to them. They are not textured, they are not matte. They are, they're just painted keys there. And we'll have a look at the backlight in a second. I just wanted to play here an audio track to test out those custom AKG speakers, which Shell may claim are really good. <laughs> Okay, those are loud. They're quite loud and they don't sound bad at all there. You can hear some bass tracks in there. There's a bit of mids. There's quite a bit of treble that you can probably hear, but that is also the song too. So not bad there for when it comes to laptop speakers. I would rate them straight away from that as, as being one of the better ones there. I have definitely heard a lot worse than that. So I've intentionally dimmed the lighting here so you can have a look at the backlit keyboard. And it has no set level, so it's either on or off. That's all we have. So have a quick look at the lid flex. That is very solid. There's hardly any flex in that. It does feel quite strong, the design of it. I do imagine that uh, it shouldn't get bent or anything like that. Now there was what I thought there could have been rubber around the edges of the screen here. It actually turns out to be, it's just like a plastic lip, but that is gonna keep the glass off away from the keyboard, away from scratching. So I don't see there being any problem with this scratching at all. And have a look and see if it can be opened one-handed. And yes, it can quite easily there. Now when it comes to how much 
it will recline back the screen. That is the maximum angle there you get. So approximately about 140 degrees, I'd, I'd say that would be. And overall, yeah, I'm quite impressed so far with it. The trackpad feels quite good to the touch. Seems accurate and it is, I think it supports gestures. Hopefully, I will check this out in this video too, if we can disable Windows gestures, but it doesn't seem to be supporting any swipe there. The charm bar didn't come up. So that isn't too bad. Now screen brightness at the moment it's 75%. That is 100%. And zero is very dim, so that's gonna be good for nighttime use. So have a look now at the device manager and how much free storage is on there. All right, because everything is in Chinese here, it's slightly hampered me. It took me a little while to find the device manager. So it's got a Synaptics touchpad, which is good. That should enable us to disable gestures. And it has an Intel dual band wireless AC 8260. And you'll see down here also Bluetooth is on there. Real tech, high definition audio. Not really much else there to show you. So this, of course, all in Chinese again, is just showing there that it's 64-bit operating system, four gigabytes of RAM, and the Core M36Y30. Now that can turbo up to 2.4 gigahertz, and free space that is available on the 128 gigabytes should be around 109. 102 sorry so 102 gigabytes are free there on this install so i'm gonna have to just clear everything off this probably i'm gonna try and take a driver's dump and then reinstall windows home so that means i'm also going to have to pay for a license now if you're looking at buying one of these i would hold off double check with your seller or check with gearbest if you can get hold of a version that does have windows english installed on there already and supplied license key too would be nice I just edited this video in. So I did a fresh Windows 10 install and it was very easy to do. So all I did was create a pen drive with the media creator from Microsoft, plugged that in with the Chinese operating system, ran that, went through the setup, did a fresh complete install. And then I connected up, once it had done the install, connected up to my wireless connection. Now the trackpad will not be working and then let it just sit there for about 15 minutes. It installed all of the drivers that you need, all came from Windows Update. So that is excellent. There's no going to be no problems with drivers whatsoever with this device. And here is the read and write speeds there of the internal 128 gigabyte Samsung SATA 3 drive. So not bad speeds, 541 sequential writes, sorry, reads, and then 342 writes, and the 4K speeds there as well are not bad at all. So that's the unboxing there. Now, my first impressions are really good. This is a premium feeling device. Straight away taking it out of the box, that was obvious that the build is excellent. The screen looks really nice, and because it has that laminated glass on it, there is literally no flex in it whatsoever. Keyboard seems okay. It's definitely not the best keyboard that I have typed on, and I knew that straight away just having a quick type there, but I think it's gonna do the job. I think it is all right, and the trackpad as well is nice and large, has a good feel to it. Speakers sound good. Now, of course, I need to check out the battery life, thermals, and I will run some gaming tests and benchmarks like I always do in my reviews. So if you are interested in seeing more on the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Air here, then make sure you keep an eye on the playlist, and why not subscribe as well, because you get more alerts then and see other videos as well that I record on tech. I have mobile phones and lots more coming up soon. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you soon.